All right, so this one's about negative indices. The power is negative. How do we deal with it? So that's a to the power of negative n. Now, a to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power of n. Basically, what it's saying is a to the power of negative n, that's on the top of a fraction at the moment, but that can go to the bottom of the fraction and the negative indice will become a positive indice. Very, very straightforward. Not too much difficulty here. Let's take a look at a few examples. Can't get much simpler than this one. x to the negative 3, that's going to be equal to 1 over x to the positive 3. Easy. 5a to the negative 4. Now that a to the negative 4 is on the wrong side of the thing. So a to the negative 4 is going to come to the bottom and become a to the 4. The 5, well the 5 isn't raised to a negative power. The 5 is just 5. 5 times a to the negative 4. So 5 can go on the top. Easy. 3 to the negative 2, a to the 4, b to the negative 3. Some of this stuff belongs on the bottom of the fraction, some of this stuff on the top of the fraction. 3 to the negative 2, we can move that to the bottom and it becomes 3 to the positive 2. b to the negative 3, we can move that to the bottom and it becomes b to the positive 3. And a to the 4, that's already a positive indice, so that can stay on the top. You can finish this off here though because you know that a to the 4 over 3 squared, that's 9. Anytime you see a number that's raised to a power, make sure you do the maths behind it. So 2 on 3x to the negative 5. So we've got a negative power here, but it's on the bottom. What the negative indices really do is change it from the top of a, of a, uh, from the top of a fraction to the bottom of a fraction, but it can also take it from the bottom to the top. Basically, the negative indice is saying, I'm on the wrong side of the fraction. Put me on the other side of the fraction. So this is 2 on 3, because the 3 is still on the right side, but the x to the negative 5 needs to come to the top. This, the x moves to the top. Of course, all of this can be combined with other laws that you already know. a to the negative 2, b to the 3, in brackets, all to the power of 4. Now, you'll know one of your index laws tells you that if this is happening, you can take this number and multiply it by this number, so a to the negative 2 times 4, and you can take this number and multiply it by this number, b to the 12. That's going to be a to the negative 8, b to the 12. Now, a to the negative 8, I'm just I'm going to have to move over here a little bit. a to the negative 8 belongs on the bottom of the fraction, so that's going to be b to the 12 over a to the 8. So you can see I've got one index law that I've used, and then I'm using my negative index, indice law. You've got eight laws to use. Uh, seven at the moment, but you will have eight. You've got eight laws to use, and each of them can get used uh, in any kind of problem.